Okay, so for this workshop, we're going to be going over a couple things, table setup, draping the doll head, and sectioning in four. Okay, so you need your comb out cape. You need your rat tail comb, four crop clips, and then part of your table setup. I used to, I again like to use a paddle brush or a wide tooth comb to section. Um, I like to use my rat tail comb to do the actual partings. And then your sonic strips you'll need. I have them in a little container here. You guys have a little pack of sonic strips. And then your water bottle labeled water. Mine looks cloudy because I have a little of leave-in conditioner. Disinfectant spray. And then your hand sanitizer. So the first thing we're going to do is drape the doll head. So I'm just going to put the head up. The hair up. You're going to grab a Sanic strip, wrap it around the neck, and then kind of tuck it in at the very end. And then with your comb out cape, there's an abrasive side and a smoother side, okay? So it doesn't matter which one. I guess I like the smoother side. I'm gonna do it face up, so facing out. Leave a little bit exposed. Wrap the cape all the way around and it should fit perfectly and stick right there. So I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to drape the doll head. Okay, so you're gonna use your styling comb or the comb with inches to be, able to, to be able to identify the apex. So the apex is the highest point of the head, the point where this comb lays flat. This is gonna be one of the reference points to section the hair, okay? So the first, Parting that we're going to be doing is from the center of the hairline to the center at the very bottom of the hair. Okay. So this is the center of the hairline. You can kind of use the nose as a reference point and the middle of her widow's peak and you're going to go straight back to the back part of the hair, okay? I'm gonna move this a little closer. Move this back. And I'm gonna take my rat tail comb to do that. So the center of the hairline, I use the point end, that's the way I do it, and go and separate it. You have to use pressure on this top.
So this is what it should look like. Straight down the middle. So center of the hairline all the way to the lowest point of the head. So after sectioning from the center of the hairline to the center of the nape area, we're going to section from the apex to slightly behind the ear. And a good way to measure that is by lining up your comb right about here. I'll switch hands so it's easier to see. Right about here. This is about to the point. Roll it up to the apex. You guys see that? So straight line to the apex. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb. Go from the apex. Straight down. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. I did it with my ring light in front, so I'm going to fix that a little bit because it was hard to reach around. You want to put, again, enough pressure on the scalp. Sometimes when these doll heads are new, it's hard to get a straight line because the hair hasn't been washed, but that's why I keep resectioning it because I want, I want a really straight line. But a, way, a good way to measure, again, is by positioning your comb right behind the ear and going straight up. That will lead you right to the apex, right to the apex. Okay, we're going to move on to the other side and you already have a section on the opposite side. So do you guys see that parting right there? 
separating the front and back, like right here. So now we have two guidelines. We have this guideline up here. We're gonna go take our comb from that line, exactly lining up all the way to behind the ear. So again, I'm gonna use the wide teeth of the styling comb, line it up at the apex, right? So you should be able to draw a straight line from the right behind the left ear, ear through the apex to the opposite side. So again, putting pressure. And it goes straight down. It's a little too far over. So the center of the hairline or the widow's peak, all the way down to the center of the nape. And then apex separates the front from the back. And again, you should be able to draw a straight line from slightly behind the right ear, all the way across to the left side. You don't want it too far back because then you're getting into the back section of the hair. So again, just turning it around slightly as straight of a line as possible. This is what your four sections or four quadrants of the head should look like. 